I promise that anyone can improve how they compress the golf ball, even compress it like a pro. This is how you do it. So the ability to stand there, compress your eye shots or even your woods is extremely important. If you want to improve strike, get consistency, gain distance and hit the ball further, you've got to be able to do it. But first, you've got to understand what it is to compress the golf ball or even what it is to not compress the golf ball. Now, this is something that I'm often going to see when I'm teaching, coaching people, stuff that I'm going to work on with them. So compression of the golf ball is easiest to describe it. It's probably a feeling of getting the club to come in, deliver in such a way that you get the feeling of squeezing the golf ball between the club and the ground. And then that compression and squeeze and trapping it out there. If you don't compress it, ball flights are gonna be weak, spins are gonna be high, consistency's gonna be not there. You're gonna not be able to control ball flight, direction, um, and you're gonna be losing distance. Don't want that. Right, so what I'm gonna see when people are not compressing the golf ball um, and delivering the club in an inefficient manner is to stand there, swing, deliver the club in such a way that the club head is gonna get in front of the hands. Okay, so the most common thing that you're gonna see is as I come in, club gets, starts to get forward of the hands, if that's the point of impact where we put the ball, as you're coming in, the hands are slowing down, club head's coming in, then you're gonna increase the deflection of the golf club onto the ball. That's going to look like this. So if we, if I hit a swing where you get a slight early extension to the um, delivery, strike's going to be um, lacking compression, and then ball flight's going to be off. It's going to look like this. So set yourself up. A delivery like that. So a little bit out to the right, but you can see. Okay. So in terms of strike speed, not great, but sort of 73. Ball speed to club speed, not good. So the smash factor's down. Launch angle at 19 degrees, carry 127, all right? That is rubbish. So if we improve it, what do I get people to do to improve compression? And, and it's, a, it's a kind of improving the feeling. So what you want to do is get to a point where you, as you're delivering the club into the ball, you're getting the feeling of coming in and getting that. Right, so I like to get people to feel like they get the palm of their hand forward of the ball, compressing and squeezing it down like that. So then how do we do that? Now there's a couple of different ways and it's, it's how you get there. So if you was at driving range, you might use a basket for that. I'm gonna use this. So it's trying to set yourself up, try to get the feeling that as you swing to the top of your backswing, the point at which you get to the top of your backswing, there's a slight change in direction there. So a slight shift forward and feeling like I'm getting to a point where my legs and that are just going to be pushing that way. Okay, so if you don't get compression, you're going to stand there, spin, swing out, get here. Hip's going to be a long way away from this sort of barrier that we're going to create. What I like to get people to do is to feel that as they swing, get to the top of the backswing, there's a slight shift forward there into an object and then get up and out of the way. That's going to help deliver the club so that your hands are forward of the ball and get that feeling. So there, push into it, that's the start of the downswing to, to get yourself forward so that you're hitting down. The next thing that I get people to do is use a tee peg. So, poke that in at an angle and then get the feeling and... So that goes in at an angle and then it's trying to get your head around the fact that it's like a hammer and a nail. So that there's the nail in the mat, club being the hammer. You've got to get the feeling of it as you come in, as we discussed, start to get to the top of the back, some little shift forward, hands forward, palm down and you're going to drive that tee into the ground. That's going to give you the sensation of striking down on it. That's going to then control ball flight. Then you're going to get less deflection, less spin, more control. So a few swings, and you can literally just hit it on the tee. So set yourself up, stand there, swing, get the feeling of hitting the tee down into the ground. It's a good visual that 
that's what you're trying to do with the golf ball. Then it's a case of put the golf ball down and try and get those two feelings in. So set myself up, stand there, swing, get a slight pressure shift into the forward foot at the top of the backswing, and then the visual of I'm trying to get that forward and get that tee driving into the ground at the point at which I've hit the ball. So set myself up, like that's what I'm going to do. And there we go, that's what it looks like. So even now, I can hit better than that, but you can see speeds have gone up. Ball speed's gone up, importantly. Spins come down, but most importantly, launch angles come down. So it's gone from 19 down to 14. As a result, distances go up. So less deflection, less spin, better strike, better smash factor, and I've picked the carry distance up to a 162, which is a significant improvement on the previous shot. So compression's important. When you're hitting your eyes, you want to hit them further, you want to hit them better, you want to be more consistent. Compression is the key. If you like that video, I made one change to my driver a little while ago that completely transformed how I hit my driver. Check that video out.